Both of these sensors are mounted solidly in the engine block. The one on the left with the white electrical connector on it is the oil pressure sensor. The oil pressure sensor is basically a switch. When there is enough pressure, oil pressure, in circulating inside the engine, that oil pressure exerts a force on a push plate with a plunger against the spring which it compresses. The plunger at the end of the spring pl uh, push plate closes the electrical circuit between two contact points. When the circuit is closed electricity goes through it and the computer interprets it as there is pressure in the system. If there isn't pressure in the system for two reasons. One, there isn't enough oil. Two, the, the uh, oil passages are clogged or the, fil or the sensor is uh, faulty. So if there isn't enough pressure then there is no current going through it and the computer reads it as uh, there is not enough oil pressure and you get a check engine and low oil warning lights on your dashboard. Reasons for low oil pressure could be obviously one not enough oil but two some of the oil passages passages could get clogged if you don't change your oil regularly and you're circulating sediment around the system some of those sediments can build up and clog some of the passages for the oil and and when the passages are clogged there is not enough pressure in it to activate this sensor with this push plate against the spring's force and of course the spring can break or the uh, electrical con movable electrical contacts can get worn there is inside the switch there is always arcing and sparking so those can go wrong as well next to it that little hexagon shape is the knock sensor the knock sensor is basically a microphone as microphones do they listen for vibrations now n normally you associate a microphone with sound but sound is vibration vibration in the air that is this microphone the knock sensor is listening for vibrations coming from the engine the normal range of vibrations is programmed into the computer, the PCM, throughout the entire RPM range under all kinds of loads. If the microphone picks up some extra vibration that isn't programmed into the PCM, the computer, then you get a check engine light and a knock sensor code. Reasons for some of those extra vibrations could be that uh, major bolts could come loose like this one on the alternator and the extra vibration will register on the knock sensor as a, as extra vibration that the computer can't do anything with and then you get a check engine light with the uh, knock sensor code as well as be if, if a belt gets frayed or gets loose or something there's the, there's the there's the belt here, barely, barely visible. Uh, or uh, if the engine oil level is low enough, the engine vibrates differently than with oil within the normal range. Engine oil, I'm talking. So that could trigger a knock sensor code. As well as, of course, if you just take out one of the spark plugs, then the cylinder from which the spark plug is removed is not going to be firing it's going to register as lack of normal vibration on the knock sensor and on the computer and uh, and uh, you're going to get a trouble code uh, cylinder number one two whatever misfiring whichever the case it is so these sensors are miserable to access Oh yeah, that brown discoloration or whatever on the knock sensor is some kind of resin that this microphone is coated with. That's how it comes from the factory. That's how this particular sensor was assembled. And the overflow of the resin and dripping down, that's not normal, but that's how this was done. So access to these sensors is somewhat limited. 
you can see the oil filter missing from from the uh, engine there and further down here of course the drive shaft is missing and and then that's all we have here this is the exhaust pipe and uh, the frame wheel and ground so that's access to these sensors that's where they are and that's what they do